Do you want to squeeze some extra power out of your micro SD card reader in your Raspberry Pi? Then stick around, because you know what time it is. My good buddy Don over at Nova Spirit Tech has already overclocked his Raspberry Pi, but it's only the CPU. He did something really interesting, and that's used water cooling. If you'd like to check out his video and channel, then click on the link above. In this video, we're going to tackle something a little bit different though, and that is overclocking the micro SD card reader to increase read and write speeds. Now, if you don't already own your own Raspberry Pi, then I've provided you a link where you can purchase one down below. So the first thing we're going to do is jump over to the computer and let's get started. Okay, so to overclock your Raspberry Pi's micro SD card reader, the first thing you're going to want to do is to put your micro SD card into your computer. Once you've done that, open it up and we're looking for the config.txt file. Now I'm opening this up with Notepad++ and that's the program that I would recommend that you edit these text files with. Because if you open it up with normal Notepad, it won't recognize the line spacing and so forth and the carriage return. So I would recommend downloading Notepad++ and I'll leave a link in the description. All right, so when we're having a look at this, we can see there there's a lot of code, but the only section that we're really interested in is the overclocking setting section. So what we'll do is we'll find a line here and we'll paste in the information and I'll read it out to you. So what it is, is DT overlay equals SD host comma overclock underscore 50 equals 100. Now I'll leave that on the screen and down in the description so you can type it in. But once you've put that into the text file, all you need to do now is go to the file menu, hit save and save it to your micro SD card. Now that's it. All you need to do is put it into your Raspberry Pi and away you go. Your micro SD card reader is now overclocked. Awesome. Did this video help you speed up your Raspberry Pi? Or maybe you've got a question about one of the methods that I used. Why don't you leave me a comment down below? That's it for another video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up or even leave me a comment down below. If you do enjoy the content that I'm providing here, then make sure you subscribe to my channel because it really helps me a lot. And as always, imagine, learn, create.